What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now today we have got this, the Powerflex Lower Torque Mount. Um, I had one of these running on the clear and I really rated it, so I thought why not get one of these. In fact, Santa brought me this one, so if you're watching this Santa, big up yourself. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get this, gonna unbox this, show you guys what's in the box and what comes with it. Um, we're gonna install it and then we're gonna send it and hopefully there's some um, some improvements that I can get across on camera. Um, stop a little bit of that wheel hop and obviously because we've upped up the boost and stuff like that as well, it'll uh, hopefully put things down to the ground a little bit better. So, run the intro. So before we get into today's video, I hope you guys had a decent Christmas and New Year. And for those of you that subscribed over the holiday period, welcome to the channel. Um, for those of you that aren't subscribed, I just thought I'd explain a little bit better. Um, obviously, it's free, it doesn't cost anything and stuff. It just If you go below the video now, you can subscribe to the channel. And all that does is just help us small time channels progress forward into making better content for you guys um, obviously it just get, enables us to push things a little bit harder and obviously the YouTube algorithm loves it and the YouTube algorithm absolutely loves likes so from this new year I'm gonna start aiming for likes on videos so we'll aim low we'll try and get 250 likes on this video I think you guys can smash it so if you can before we get into today's video just smash a like on this video and um, like I say because YouTube loves it and we love YouTube you love YouTube that's it isn't it we all give so that's enough waffle Let's um, unbox this over here because this is the only place I've got a decent light and um, I'll show you guys what comes in the kit. It's going to be pretty similar to the clear one I imagine but let's have a little look. The Powerflex um, lower torque mount. This is the road edition, road version because I didn't want to mess about with... Um, why is it so hard to do? Um, didn't want to mess about with obviously <clears throat> things being too stiff. But let's have a look. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got some assembly grease. Obviously the two rings that we've got on the end here. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, okay, so it's a hybrid. Unlike the Clio, um, it was one color. So if you bought purple, it'd be purple, purple. But this is kind of like a hybrid of yellow and, oh, and it's two pieces. Interesting. Um, I imagine the yellow is obviously there to take up some of the, absorb some of the, um, so the engine shock, because I can actually feel that that's a hell of a lot softer than purple. Um, so yeah, I guess that's probably, obviously purple being this side, that'll be the actual car side and that'll be the engine side, I think. I think it's that way around. Um, but yeah, so this is it. Um, obviously, super sturdy piece, and obviously this will give us the, um, the ability to stiffen things up a little bit. I had the yellow yellow on the Clio, and that was actually, I, I left that on there and I actually forgot when I got rid of it. So whoever's got my old Clio, you've got free one of these. Um, but yeah, I tried purple purple on the old Clio and it was far, far too much. Um, it was, it, it was it giving me a lot of cabin shake and stuff. Don't know whether that's because of the gearbox and stuff, but let's, um, oh, let's see what these do. So yeah, these two rings will obviously go on the end here, like so. Um, just hold things together because there's actually like a little ridge there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Can you see it? Like a little ridge around there. Obviously, you've got the little sitting there like that, which I assume will stop this purple one from sliding back and forth because, like I showed, it can actually it's actually moving in and out at the moment. So I think that's about it. There's not really much else to say. Um, so yeah, let's go and um, let's go and get down to Shane's and we'll try and um, we'll get this installed and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Fast forward to then. One thing I did forget to say before we stop filming um, is obviously the difference in stiffnesses. So I think yellow is about 100% stiffer. Uh, purple is about 300%. I think it's come up on the website, 300% stiffer on the purple. And the black is 450. So obviously, like I say, this is the road version. So this comes like this as default. And then you've got the other, the race version, which come, well, the track version, which comes with black front and rear. So that will be as close as you can get to a solid engine mount without it being actual metal. So yeah, just thought I'd add that in there real quick. 
A few moments later. Right, so we're just arriving at Shane's now. Um, we're going to get the uh, get the car in, get get it up in the air and stuff, and see how much um, plastic needs to be removed to get the uh, to get access to the lower torque mount. But um, it's a two bulk job, so it shouldn't take long. Saying that, it's French and it's probably got a million plastic things in the way, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you in a bit when we're inside. Perfect. 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 Right, so both the 21s have been removed here from the bottom mount, and this is the comparison. So this is the old one. Oops, that's the old one. That's the new one. So obviously, as you can see, quite a lot of movement in this one, back and forth. And um, this one looks quite solid at the back, so I imagine that's why they're running a purple on there. But yeah, hopefully, see some differences between the two. Um, it was just two 19s, so we're gonna get out of the way and let, um, let Jono just get the stuff back in up there and um, take it for a send. I think that's about it. There's the thing, we need that for that. Yeah, let's go. The under tray was even easier than the Clio. Um, just literally that under tray and like a bunch of 10 mils there to get easy access to the bottom of the engine. Easy peasy. A couple of 10 mils, two 19s, oh, sorry, 21s. And then, um, yeah, here we are. Just like that. She's in. So like I say, this is a hybrid between the two, so it's yellow and purple on this side and purple just on this side. So let's um, get it all whacked back together and go and take it for a test drive. 10 minute job. Well done, Shane. Let's get out of here and take it for a lunch. <clears throat> a pleasant surprise. So I expected more rumble than this and I was going to let it um, bed in, obviously. But it's barely any, barely any more... Um, in, invasive, intrusive, whatever you want to call it, um, to the cabin. So I'll rate it. Let's stick it in sport and race. Mm, still seems fine. Right, I'm going to pause this video because I'm in a car park, so let's um, get out on the main road and give it a quick launch, see what it feels like. Right, so first impressions. Um, can't really feel it in, when, I'm, when I'm cruising around, which is good. Uh, I can definitely feel there's a little bit of stiffness, more stiffness there, uh, but not in the way that I would consider a bad thing. It just feels, the car feels a little bit more taut. Um, it's really hard to explain. Obviously, I'm trying to explain it the best I can on camera. Um, it's, what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say, I think, is it still feels dailyable, but I can definitely feel that something's tightened up. It's really strange. You know what it's like when you change something in your car you know the minute you get in here, it's not that placebo effect, you get in it and you're like, something's different, you know, whether it's a sound or something ain't performing right, or even if you've modified something, you can feel it, but the shifts seem to be a lot flatter, is the only way I can describe it, like sometimes when it shift, it was quite, a, quite an, um, what's the word, an abrasive shift, so sometimes in race mode especially, whereas on the quickest shift mode, it will be a bit like brr, brr between the gears, so when you were shifting, it would still be a rapid shift, but it was much more, um, you could feel it a lot more. Whereas, oh, you idiot. So yeah, I'll give it a quick, um, give it a quick dig down here. It's second gear, so it's gonna spin. But... No shifts there, flat. Love that. I'm so happy with how this has come out because I was really concerned going to purple, I was gonna be like, it was going to be too stiff and I was going to let it bed in and stuff and I was going to have to get used to it whatever but this um this is quality shifts down still feel quite um abrupt but obviously when we're in race mode and stuff it's not it's what, what, what to expect um I'll give it I'll go down I'm going to get some fuel in a minute some of the best stuff so we'll give it a quick send on to the uh onto the A12 and see um see what it's really made of third gear ball yeah, that feels quality. Hundred percent feels so good. Just something I noticed that feels very different is when you're like I'm third gear now, I'm at two thousand RPM. When you put your foot in and load down, obviously this is where the torque is in these. 
when you put your foot down low in that, you can feel how really flat it is. I'll do it again now. There. That picks up so quickly. Like now, oh, I can't really, I can't really explain it. That picks up. It feels like it picks up so much flatter, and the shift as well is just back. You know, there's no movement of the car now. Obviously, that is the whole point of this mount. I'm saying it like you don't know what I'm talking about. But obviously, if you've had done these sort of things before, you know what you're doing this mod for. So basically, what I'm trying to say is this mod does exactly what you want it to without ruining your drivability, and that is a winner. Another thing I'm noticing the more I drive it as well is, is throttle precision um, is the only way I can describe it. When you were in race mode, it kind of felt a bit like an on and off switch. Um, before, um, whereas this now, obviously, where there's a lot less slack, you can kind of be a lot more precise. Like, I'm just leaning on race mode now, and if that was before, that would have kind of either like jolted or just not done anything at all. So, like, you can be a little bit more modular on the throttle, even in race mode, which is obviously the most sensitive mode. But, like, if you lay into it like that, you feel it. <laughs> Notice that. As the more and more I drive it, I can be even in race mode because race mode I found too jerky for day to day use. Um, obviously, sports much better for that kind of thing, but um, yeah, just finding the now more when you can like a lot of court throttle and then full throttle, then pull the right way through. Sheesh. So, before I end up making the video longer than it needs to be. Through end the video there, quick summary. Obviously, like I say, this is the road version, but there is a track version if you want to go learn all in. Uh, I'll leave the description to both in the um, leave the description, leave the link to both in the description for you guys to check out if that's the sort of thing uh, you want to start checking out. But I 100% if you're a Meg 4 owner, 100% recommend this road one at least. Um, super easy job, 10 minute job, um, and you know it's made it's made it's made a really really big difference to like the drive and feel and stuff like and I really I rate it I rate it massively and I'm, gr I'm grateful that it's not too invasive to the cabin and stuff so um just pulled up at the petrol station so yeah I'm gonna head out but I'll catch you guys in the next one make sure you like subscribe and all that stuff and share around like you always do 250 likes let's see it peace